Hi there Special Agents, Commander G back again this time with some grammar practice. This is practice three. Can we choose the correct conjunction to answer questions? Remember these are top secret tips for Special Agents only. Let's go. Can you remember what a conjunction is? We might call it a joining word or a sentence stretcher in class and we know a lot of them and we use different ones for different reasons. So the easiest one that you probably learnt to use in year one is the joining word and and that we use that when one action follows another in the right order. So we laughed and giggled all the way home. We also know to use but. We use but when two, out, two ideas are joined that contradict each other or don't quite agree with each other. Like in the sentence, I like cheese but my friend doesn't. When we want to connect something that happens at the same time as something else, we might use the conjunction when. I always go for long walks when it is sunny. We want to use because it gives a reason that something happened. The man was happy because it was his birthday. We could use if introduces an event which might happen. We can all go on holiday if the passports arrive on time. We might use or to connect two possible choices. Do you want to go to the cinema or to the park? Let's take a look at some special agent questions all about cool conjunctions. My advice, always read everything on the page before you even work out what this is asking you to do. Let's go. 6. Circle one word in the sentence below that can be replaced with the word but and replaced means swapped with the word but. Paul and Anil went to the music club and Joe went home. So I can see two words that could be classed as a conjunction here. We've got and and we've got and over there. Now let's test it out first. Paul but Anil went to music club doesn't really make sense does it let's try again with the second and in the sentence paul and anil went to music club but joe went home ah i think that would make sense there wouldn't it let's read it again to double check paul and anil went to music but joe went home yep i'm going to circle that and and i would get the point well done if you knew that was the one we could change number nine circle one word in the sentence below that can be replaced with the word if so if helps us join things that could happen my friend and i ride our bikes to school when the weather is good my friend and I ride our bikes to school when the weather is good. Let's find any conjunctions in the sentence first. So we've got and there and we've got when is a conjunction as well. Now, does the first one make sense if we change and for if? My friend, if I ride our bikes, no, not at all. It can't be that conjunction. Let's keep reading. My friend and I ride our bikes to school if the weather is good. My friend and I ride our bikes to school if the weather is good. That makes sense. We can change the conjunction when to if and we would get that point. Well done, guys. Number one, tick the correct word to complete the sentence below. It was raining heavily. Mm, Fatima went out to play. Tick one. Only put one tick in a box. Don't tick them all or you will not get a point. So we've got the conjunctions but, if, or, or that. So it was raining and the girl went out to play. She still went out to play. So this is saying two things that maybe don't agree. Do you go out to play when it's raining? Possibly not. If you don't know, if you can't, if in doubt, speak it out. See, test everyone and see which one sounds right. It was raining heavily, but Fatima went out to play. It was raining heavily if Fatima went out to play. It was raining heavily or Fatima went out to play. It was raining heavily that Fatima went out to play. I think I would use but there. Let's read it back to check it makes sense. It was raining heavily but Fatima went out to play. Well done. A. Write one word to complete the sentence below. We have PE outside. Mm, it is not raining. So this is trying to join two ideas where something could happen if things were right. Now, if in doubt, test it out. Let's try some conjunctions in our head and see which one sounds right. We have PE outside and it is not raining. No, don't think that helps us there. We have PE outside because it is not raining. No, not really right. We have PE outside, but it is not raining. Doesn't really tell us that something will happen if things are right, if the situation is right. We have PE outside. 
if it is not raining. Yes, I think if fits there, well done. We also could have used another conjunction, couldn't we there? We could have used when, because that tells us the time we go outside. We have pee outside when it is not raining. Well done if you thought of that one, special agents. Question one, tick the correct word to complete the sentence below. Sasha was running to school, mm, she was late. Tick one, if, or, that, and because. So we're given a reason here. She was late. She was running to school. She was late. Can you remember which conjunction gives us a reason that something happens? If in doubt, test it out. Sasha was running to school if she was late. Mm, not sure that one works. Sasha was running to school or she was late. Sasha was running to school that she was late. Sasha was running to school because she was late. Yes, because is the conjunction we use when we are giving a reason for something happening. Well done if you beat Mrs G to that one. Fantastic. Practice question A. Write one word to complete the sentence below. I want to be a pilot. Mm, I grow up. Okay, this could be a time connective here. Let's test them out if we're not sure. I want to be a pilot and I grow up. No, can't be that one. I want to be a pilot but I grow up. Doesn't really make sense, does it, boys and girls? I want to be a pilot so I grow up. No, not sure. Anyone remember the conjunction that might help us with time? Ooh, I wonder if you're already saying it on the screen to me. I want to be a pilot when I grow up. Yes, that's the time. I want to be a pilot when I grow up. Well done if you beat Mrs G to that. Fantastic. Number three, tick the correct words to complete the sentence below. We will go cycling. Mm, we arrive home in time. Tick one. That or but or if. Which one of those conjunctions do we use to show that something could happen? Can you remember? If in doubt, test it out. We will go cycling that we arrive home in time. We will go cycling or we arrive home in time. We will go cycling but we arrive home in time. We will go cycling if we arrive home in time. Which one sounded right to you? I think I've got it. I would use if because it's telling us the pos it's possible we can go cycling if we arrive home in time. Well done, guys. Fantastic. Number two, tick one word to complete the sentence below. Potatoes are good for you. Mm, you should not eat chips too often. Tick one. That, but, when, or. Pause the video if you need more thinking time. Tell someone at home if you know the conjunction that you would tick here. So, if in doubt, think it out. Potatoes are good for you. That, you should not eat chips too often. Doesn't sound right, does it? Potatoes are good for you, but you should not eat chips too often. Potatoes are good for you when you should not eat chips too often. Potatoes are good for you or you should not eat chips too often. So these two ideas disagree with each other a little bit, don't they? They say potatoes are good for you, but they're telling you that you shouldn't really eat chips that are made of potatoes too often. Which conjunction did we use when the ideas contradict each other? Which one sounded right to you? That's it. Potatoes are good for you but you should not eat chips too often. Great work, special agents. Leave me a like if you'll be tuning in next time. Bye for now.